Hey guys, Hi. welcome back to the His and Hers the Truth podcast. Yes. This is my lovely wife. My lovely husband, Tuan. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm Sim. Nice meeting everyone again. And if you're new to our channel, welcome to our channel. And if you're old, you know what to do. No shadow watching. Let's share. Let's press that like button. Yes, Let's please. get that algorithm up and let's not have them block us. Yeah, exactly. Guys, thank you so much for watch, you know, tuning in. But mm -hmm. please, while you're here, subscribe to the channel, right? Smash that like button. Turn yes. on your notification bell. Mm -hmm. And of course, guys, watch the whole video and then mm -hmm. share and comment at the end. As yeah. always, guys, you guys know we're kind of, kind of, you know, blocked mm -hmm. shadow banned. Yeah. So not only do we have shadow watchers out there, but we have a lot of shadow banning from YouTube as well, too, mm -hmm. guys. And right now, guys, hey, there's a huge push to kind of, you know, suppress content like this mm -hmm. rp content the truth yeah. and uh so hey maybe you know in the future we might look into other platforms right yeah. i know a lot of people are moving to rumble yeah other platforms and so we'll probably you know look into that as well yeah uh moving forward to you guys hey you know we promise you guys some lives especially reacting to your guys' comments and questions mm -hmm. and so that will be coming here hopefully everyone had a good summer mm -hmm. summer's over everyone's back to school labor day hopefully everyone had a happy labor day yes and yeah, let's get back to, I guess, posting more content for you guys yeah. to enjoy. And we actually have a decent one today, and it's just a short <laughs> uh, reaction video from TikTok, I believe. Yeah. And I love these shorts, honey, because there's a lot of truths yeah. in just these little quick shorts. And they're fun to do as well, too. Mm -hmm. The title of the video today, guys, is Which Asian Race is Best in Bed? Ooh, oh, man. juicy. Talk Here about clickbaitish <laughs> click titles, right? Yep. All right, let's begin. So which Asian race is the best in bed? It's no experience. Sleep the fifth. No. Sleep the fifth? Yeah. That's fine. I've never. Oh, you never, you never, you non experience. Let's have the cap sub. <laughs> okay, so what do you think about the first two girls? Uh, so first one says, I plead the fifth. fifth. Mm -hmm. And then the second one says, I have, I have never. never. So she had no experience. She never experience. Mm -hmm. So what do you think from those two first two? Just, you know, what you suspect. Because I have my suspicions. Well, plead the fifth because she doesn't want to look bad. That's, okay. that's one for the okay. first one. Okay. And the other one, if she hasn't had experience, how can she answer that Do question? Do you think, though, now this day and age, especially doing these street interviews and how just kind of open people are, especially I told you guys out there, right, my Asian mm -hmm. brothers, right, women are no longer traditional, and that includes our Asian you know, sisters. Do you think that's really the case with this girl, that she didn't want to say anything because she didn't want to put her business out there well yeah she doesn't want to you know look bad out there but i mean i'm not going to say out there that there aren't innocent women that hasn't had anything yet mm. so there, there's got to be some I my, mean, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna try to be the nice side honey I'm, but there's I, gonna be I, some, no, I think, some women i think out there. my wife is a little just naive and that's what i love about her but uh i think i'm with this brother right here where he says let's have the caps out right mm -hmm. because i think she just hasn't had sex with an asian brother just like the well, friend. let's see. Let's yeah, see. Okay, honey. let's continue. That's what she means. <laughs> okay, which Asian race is the best in bed? Nigerians. <laughs> yeah, they're the? not Asian. Oh, wait. Hey, no. Hey, no. Hey, Asian. 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 Yeah, you're making Asian oh, no. people looking bad. Tibetans. Tibetans? Um, for me, right, I'm bisexual, so. I've okay, never been in bed with. Okay, so. Oh, God, honey. Where are we going on with this video? Okay. <laughs> So what do you think about the girl? First, she's she's obviously an idiot, right? A yeah, moron, right? right? Nigerians aren't even freaking no. Asians, right? And then she said Tibetan, so. Yeah. What do you think about that before we get into the guy's reaction or guy's mm -hmm. comment? Tibetans, really, yeah. Tibetans. But anyways, okay, go ahead. Okay, well, that's sort of like off-key, but hey, if they're, I don't know, they're considered, you know, then Asian. Then obviously... But this looks like this video was shot overseas mm -hmm. right and so guys hey talk, you know obviously they speak english pretty well yeah. but they, you can tell they have kind of an accent i'm almost thinking like it's australia or the uk maybe yeah. maybe australian it definitely sounds like know. australian accent which makes sense because there's a lot of asian especially chinese mm -hmm. in australia yeah, okay sure. and then they speak english of course very of course. well western world right so tibetan though Hmm. How many Tibetan people do you I mean, know? I don't know. I haven't even heard a lot right? of Tibetans out there. So either. how did this girl like even had sex with a Tibetan dude? Like, have you even met a Tibetan dude? Like, I, I don't even she, know. I think she's throwing it out there because she's like, oh, Nigerian. Wait a minute. You're such an idiot. And then she's like, OK, how about Tibetan? I okay, I mean, there's a possibility that she's just an idiot. She, and she doesn't know there. the difference between Tibetan or another ethnicity. Okay, let's go, honey. But 
That seems very interesting that the two races she automatically showed was Nigerian yeah. and Tibetan as Asian races. Well, she probably just didn't look bad and she probably was embarrassed at her okay. first answer. Well, before we get so into the guy, because I want you to react to what the guy said as well, Bisexual. too. Yeah, but geez, yeah. right? But <laughs> the point, though, is I think what you guys can glean is mm -hmm. that from a Western society perspective, right? We talk about this all the time, guys. Mm -hmm. UK, America, Canada, Australia, right? These women are way more promiscuous mm -hmm. and way more sexually free, right? Mm -hmm. Liberated than what you guys think. And I think this is a huge problem with the Asian dating market. And we talk mm -hmm. about the Asian dating market specifically because Asian guys are still stuck in the traditional culture value, mm -hmm. right? Like we're still thinking that we have to be a certain way mm -hmm. to be, uh, you know, suitable candidates for our women. And yeah. this goes back to guys. Guys are idealistic when it comes to the truth mm -hmm. and the right. We're told all our lives to be the provider, protector, right? Be mm -hmm. good. And then with obviously with the Asian culture and the moral culture as well, yeah. too, right? If you're Buddhist, if you're Catholic, if you're religious on top of that, right? Mm -hmm. Your family has told you, hey, you also have to be a nice guy, mm -hmm. right? Have to be a morally sound guy. Yeah. But what you guys are seeing is that we're not going to get rewarded for that. Yeah. And why? Okay, so that's before I get further. That what do you think about the Asian dude's reaction the way he says he's bisexual, honey? Because well, we only heard the word bisexual part, but he didn't really get into it because yeah. we didn't give him a chance yet. So we should probably listen to the whole thing, honey. So no, well, we'll get into it because it's shorts, right? Yeah. But obviously, the obvious answer is says this dude's a simp, mm -hmm. right? Because he's with her as a friend. Yeah. Right. So obviously, if he's bi, meaning he likes women too, yeah, that means he course. wants to smash her. Both. Right. He, he wants to smash her. Women. Right. Mm -hmm. But he's just saying that. And don't get me wrong, he very well could be bi. Mm -hmm. But the point is, he still hang around with her yeah. because he wants to smash her. Mm -hmm. And let's be honest, guys, a good way to get in is saying, hey, I'm not 100% swing one way. Mm -hmm. Right. Think about how many girls love, especially the modern female, love having gay friends, mm -hmm. right? And so, hey, if you're a bi friend, that's almost in the same category. So, in essence, you're safe, right? Mm -hmm. You can hang out with him. He can freaking talk about guys and girls with you. But at the same time, hey, you know, she gives me the opportunity. Maybe mm -hmm. I can hit it, mm -hmm. right? Guys, don't do that. This guy's literally just a beta freaking ass male. She friend zoned this dude. Mm hmm and he's just hanging around hoping for this opportunity, right? Really? Yeah. Only white? <laughs> That's crazy. Look, I've only slept with Chinese and Korean and Chinese. Chinese. Oh. <laughs> I've only been with Viet, so I gotta Viet? go with Viet. I would say Viet as well. Okay, so oh. these guys now talking about, mm -hmm. but okay, so the last two girls, once again, only white dudes, no, right? Western, Western, you know, like I said, these mm -hmm. look like they're from a Western society. And then one girl, finally, okay. out of all the girls they interviewed, they found that one girl was Chinese mm, and she Korean. She likes with Chinese. What do you think? Because I don't think they're going to get into it, honey, because this is a very short clip and they're just getting mm -hmm. quick answers. Yeah. Why do you think she said Chinese versus Korean? Well, because, you know, there's always certain stereotype of okay, Korean. Yeah, and that's what I want to touch upon. So what, so what is it? You know, with Korean, they're not, um, they're not showing passionate sort of to the, you know, to their partners whatever else and most of them stereotype that koreans are short on there down there okay so, okay yeah you okay. know you hear that okay right? hey guys uh there's a study that, don't, they don't, just said that don't so don't, 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 don't 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 guess yeah. how i know right but the study out there in terms of penis sizes right mm -hmm. you can joke about it all you want but obviously i've done my fair research <laughs> right but korean men supposedly have the shortest junks out of all the asian races like so, that stereotype so, so that could sure. be one uh -huh. but but i think the reason more mm -hmm. i think the reason more is what you're trying to elaborate yeah. to and what i'm trying to elaborate to is, is that Asian uh, Korean men have the culture of wanting to be the man, yeah, right? The right. There's always this like uh, one upmanship. I've noticed mm -hmm. within the Korean, uh, Korean culture is that the guys are always trying to outdo each other, mm -hmm. right? So there's always kind of like this, like have to be more macho than the other guy. Yeah. And so they're almost kind of like they're forced to kind of like act cocky yeah. and act macho. And I think they do that with their women as well. Mm -hmm. And right. So they're not confident. But because they have to act this way, right? Be macho. They pretty much like my wife was saying, they don't treat the woman yeah, like they don't thing. do. And so it just shows you guys that 
in even traditional cultures like Korea and China, mm-hmm. it's starting to influx with this Western ideology, yeah. right? Okay, let's keep going here. Oh, really? Girlfriend's vi- oh, yeah. really? I feel like it's Indians. Indians. Because they have the most to prove, you know what I mean? Like, because they're always looked down on, so they have the most to prove. Japs, huh? Japs. Okay, so the, the two dudes said Vietnamese, Vietnamese yep, and she woman, said Indians. Indians. Yeah, like, okay, so first off, let's talk about the dudes, right? So Vietnamese, why do you think do the girl, you know, uh, the guys like Vietnamese women? Because most Vietnamese women are um, wanting to be fashionable, very um, sort of in between, like, Americanized, not as traditional. Yeah. Well, the ones that we meet, I know yeah. that. Modern I- day now. Yeah, they're so not very, you know, they're fashionable. I th- I think Vietnamese women and Vietnamese in general mm-hmm. are still very stereotypically traditional. Mm-hmm. Now they're traditional kind of in the Asian culture sense, not mm-hmm. in like the true sense, right? But in the mm-hmm. Asian culture sense that they're still money hungry, mm-hmm. right? They're still like a man has to make money to get yep. with me, mm-hmm. so I want the money from the man, yep. and then we're very, hey guys, my Viet sisters and brothers, right? Because I'm Vietnamese too, so I know, right? We're still very materialistic, uh-huh. right? So, you know, that's we want the mix of that, right? Mm-hmm. We want the freaking, <laughs> right? That's how we say it. So we always want like to show people that we have status mm-hmm. and class, that's that we're better, said. that we're better than everyone mm-hmm. else, right? How many times, you know, your Vietnamese mom or your dad says, oh, you know, my son does this. Mm-hmm. And then the next Vietnamese mom and dad, says, oh, no, oh, my son, son wants this, right? Or so my daughter did you're this. always wanting to up one upmanship on this kind of this financial uh, money Daddy. and, 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 and mostly it's about to do with money, but mm-hmm. education and money status. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. So, uh, so since the women kind of follow that, uh, mm-hmm. that same traditional, they're going to treat their man. If the man is, you Worth know, the correct treating, value, yeah. correct. And then uh, lastly, what about the chick that says Indian dudes? Maybe are, she dated one. I don't know. Maybe she dated one. But he, she, she also said what? that they had the most approved. Do you think that's true? Most approved? Yeah. Well, Indian because, dudes. well, Depending, I mean, if he's traditional, he wants a somewhat decent, like traditional girl and most approved. I don't know, maybe if his parents, if his mom, especially his mom likes her, then this is my guess from what I know of the Indian culture. Right. Mm -hmm. And hey, guys, uh, you know, I'm I'm not Indian. I don't know much about the Indian culture, Mm -hmm. but just from what I've observed. Right. So my Indian Asian brothers out there. Yeah. Right. Because like this is the thing, too. Like I me personally, guys, don't hate. But I don't really lump Indians mm-hmm. with like Asians, really, mm-hmm. right? I mean, let's be honest, we look fairly different. Mm-hmm. You know, yes, we, our cultures might be fairly similar, similar, but we're not really the same, right? Mm-hmm. But, anyways, I've noticed that there is a, a huge social hierarchy when it comes to India, mm-hmm. right? So, like, if you're poor Indians, you're they poor. treat you like shit, mm-hmm. right? If you're high class Indians, you're, you know, you're looking yeah. down upon the other ones, right? And so she must be referring to the, the lower higher. class mm-hmm. Indians, right? And that's so true because think about it. A lot of Indians were traded, mm-hmm. right? We talk about, you know, shoot, black people being slaves, yeah. but let's be honest. Indians, Indians have been slaves, have been obviously, you know, the UK, other Western right. countries yeah. have taken them over, right? Mm-hmm. And so they're talking about those Indians. And I think she's referring to those Indians mm-hmm. specifically, yeah. right? And so, yeah, I could totally see that standpoint they do have a lot of proof right mm-hmm. because they've always been uh put mm-hmm. down as the lower yep. class yeah uh, work harder to show right mm-hmm. the, the, the society mm-hmm. and so now they have to prove themselves uh, yeah. more than others and so they yeah. have to kind of this chip on their shoulder yeah right yeah. Yeah. a little freaky on this idea oh. isn't <laughs> is that from all the um japan you have been watching <laughs> oh okay so the last one was japanese mm-hmm. So it kind of touched upon all the major Asian, right? We had Chinese, mm-hmm. Korean, yeah. Viet, yeah. and Japanese, right? Why are you laughing at Viet? Right? You are, you are I, Viet. I know, because I'm laughing at my own, you know, <laughs> hey, I can, I can make poke fun of my own ethnicity, right? But anyways, Japanese. And so he was saying that they were actually kind of freaky, you know, because mm-hmm. a lot of the Jap porn and stuff like that. So what do you, what do you think corn, about Corn, honey, corn. Oh, yes, yeah, so I'm sorry. Prawn, prawn. Prawn. Ja- ja- <laughs> corn. Yeah, prawn, corn. yeah, corn, yes. <laughs> So what do you think about that? So, he, you know, this last dude was saying that, you yeah, know, because he just well, his bro- his friend also said, yeah, they're pretty outgoing on that part. Like, you know, because they've been exposed to so many things that I don't know. That's I, I'm just thinking maybe to some that are right now more modern. That's like that. But if they're a traditional, say, Japanese girl that's 
you know, not exposed to all this stuff. I think she's still traditional. I don't think she's going to, you know. Yeah, it's a tough call with Japanese mm-hmm. girls because I, I really feel like they can swing a few different ways, yeah. right? If you get a super traditional Japanese girl, mm-hmm. they're they're going to follow your lead. Yeah. Right. And so when you look like, Hey, all, all my brothers out there that's watched a lot of prawn and mm-hmm. I've seen Jap prawn specifically. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you look at their Japanese prawn, it's like, they're very, you know, like submissive mm-hmm. when they're doing the act. Yeah, right. Not with the new ones. No, no. Uh, but I'm saying if it, right. The traditional one, right. Like they always, they always play it off. Like, mm-hmm. you know, they're like innocent. The, the, the innocent and submissive type. Right. Mm-hmm. And I know a lot of guys, like that right they mm-hmm. they want their women to be submissive and so yep. pl- you know positive for the japanese woman right mm-hmm. if she's traditional now if she's not traditional yeah, she then they're super freaky mm-hmm. right they're into the bondage they're into the cosplay mm-hmm. they're into the freaking you know all or, the all the different like right you watch you watch anime right or and, they and, don't want it at all and you guys are just sleeping in separate beds no but mm-hmm. well that's that's i think that's just a generalization a of all guy. women but i'm talking about if she's a traditional or even if she's a modern japanese woman mm-hmm. and she is into sex and she is you know obviously having sex with you right mm-hmm. even if she's traditional she checks she checks the box for the male ego mm-hmm. because they play like this very you know submissive innocent mm-hmm. and let's be honest guys like <laughs> I don't want to joke about it, but let's, I'm just calling the elephant in the room, right? They pretend like, you know, they're having a great time, okay, you, honey. you know, even though it might not be, you okay, know, honey, what, we're what, trying to do a rated PG anyways, here. anyways. Right. <laughs> and then of course, if they're not traditional, they're modern, they're right. And then they're into all the freaky mm-hmm. stuff. But the cool thing about Japanese women, but Asian women in general, this is why Asian women mm-hmm. are still so highly obviously sought out in dating apps is because they have that innocent look. Mm-hmm. Right. And they have that femininity look. Yeah. Right. And so you're getting kind of the best of both worlds. You have this innocent, feminine looking girl, but then she's also a freak in the bed. Mm-hmm. Right. And so I think that's kind of where that guy was like, you know, he didn't say exactly why. Uh, he, he brought up the prawn, prawn star. Thing yeah. Video, well, no, so. the interviewer brought yeah. it up, but he, he did allude to kind of like, oh, she was a little bit freakier. Mm-hmm. She did a little bit more stuff. Right. Yeah. Instead of just being kind of a, we call that starfish, mm-hmm. starfish sex. Right. When it's boring sex. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. So I think that's kind of the why he was saying Japanese girls are best. So overall, honey, what do you think? Out of all things, it seemed like they had a consensus. Well, well, one, a <laughs> lot of the women didn't even have sex with asian dudes there was only one chick that no there was only one chick that had it with a chinese guy and then another chick said she had it with an indian dude Uh, right and then the dudes they had it with vietnamese Mm -hmm. uh japanese Mm -hmm. and those were the two that they said were the best yeah so what do you think from this video who do you think is the best i don't know honey because i've only i don't know yeah i mean i think because the men had their their views, like say the men only brought the vit, right? The girls didn't say any vit; they only said one Korean. So I was like, you don't really get anything really to compare to compare. Okay. So see, see, guys, we have to look. Like I said, I love these shorts because we mm-hmm. have to look at the underlying mm-hmm. information, yeah. and the underlying information is that the women don't care what ethnicity you mm-hmm. are if you have the values high. We talk about it all the time in our yeah. videos on this podcast. Women don't care if you're black, white, White, Hispanic, Asian. Asian. You have to have the male traits high. Mm -hmm. And so, like I said, if because they saw that white man or black man, right, or other ethnicities beside Asian Mm -hmm. have the height, right, the riz, right, the money, the status, they're going to go with the best option available. Yep. So don't sit here and just keep thinking that because you're Asian is because the reason why you're not getting these women. If you have these men's values high, you're going to get it, right? Mm-hmm. Women, are, especially nowadays, the modern women is willing to take dick from anywhere as long as the men's values are high. Mm-hmm. So get your, your, your values high, my brothers, mm-hmm. right? And then the second thing, it shows you that men still haven't changed too much, mm-hmm. right? The thing about Vietnamese women that we just talked about earlier Mm -hmm. and the thing about Japanese women, right? Why they rate high is because they bring the traditional feminine, submissive, innocent Mm -hmm. values that all men want, Mm -hmm. right? And so that's why those races were brought up up and Mm -hmm. why they were rated as high. 
So that's what I'm trying to say, guys. Hey, once you know the truth, once you know the values, once you know what people are looking for, Mm -hmm. you can kind of figure out it's not a guess why they answer the way they answer. Yep. Right. And that's really the lesson. Okay, guys. Hey, appreciate you guys. Check us out the next time. Peace. Bye. Bye. Join us as we give you guys a glimpse into our lives, give you guys advice, Mm -hmm. hopefully give you guys entertainment value as well, too, and provide you guys better outcomes. Yes.